Yeah, hi, welcome back to Blatheria. I'm John Caparulo. And I'm Brian Schnavian. Hi. Yeah, we're uh, coming live from uh, the Killing Cricket set at Wise Guys. <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're it's, well, we were doing sets here and we, uh, um, well, my, my house smells like fucking cat pee again. So we're, we're just, uh, <laughs> we're, we're we're hanging out at the the, the other set uh, um, so yeah we're here at wise guys and um, it's uh, uh, it, it, we, it, I saw your I think I saw most of your set tonight how to go how was you I mean I, I I worked that set like probably six times here but like I rewrote it with like a bunch of new tags and, yeah like, I felt like they worked okay I forgot a couple it's just man like the problem with filming sometimes is all my notes are on my phone. And then when I just want to check my notes <laughs> yeah, right, two seconds yeah. before I go on stage, I'm like, oh, it's up there in the air. I yeah. can't fucking get it. It's, I, you know, because like when I, you know, my my pre-smartphone years of comedy, you know, I, I hardly ever had like, yeah, I guess early on maybe I took little pieces of note paper with me or something like mm-hmm. that to like remind myself, of, okay, I wanted to do this bit or this bit or whatever, but it... You know, once it was like, once I had like basically a file cabinet in my pocket, it did become a situation where it was like, you know, before my set tonight, I could at least start scrolling through. I didn't find shit because, I mean, a lot of it's just, <laughs> it's like, really? I really thought that this was worth fucking uh-huh, typing uh-huh. into my phone. But it's, it is nice to have that uh, there to to refer to. I mean, uh, I'm surprised I don't see more comics, I guess, going on stage with it because they used to, it always used to piss me off, especially when I was working the door at the comedy store, like people would go up on stage especially like in the main room on saturday or something they're fucking they got their yellow notepad on the stool like what are you fucking this isn't a a workshop motherfucker go up there and fucking i mean do some comedy (laughs) try to remember your shit i still see people do that to this day though like where they just always do stuff and it's it's oh it like on a tuesday wednesday you open mic say okay you know but when it's you know there's too many times i saw too many people you know who were Especially people who were way too seasoned a veteran to be doing that shit, and well, it's funny because you know. in Dion Cole's special, he made it a bit where he had he was holding his list the whole time, and he's yeah. like, "What do you guys think about this one?" And then if it, it, if I, it yeah, landed, I, I he mean, would checkbox it or he'd cross it off. I mean, it was I like can't, I can't fault Dion Cole no, for anything. No, it's fucking but, funny. But I, that's, I, it was, but it was a great bit, and I think that that was doing that versus like uh, like we we're like. All right, what else? What else over here? Let's see. Uh, no, right, that's yeah, not just funny the, for you guys. Like, okay, it's like, okay. Oh, what's the deal with cardboard? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it's it's almost like you're breaking the the fourth, like the fifth wall of comedy almost. It, it you really know, does. where you're just like, all right, everybody, don't look at what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna look at my notes. You know? If I ever, you know, I was. That's why I always like. You know, I, I think sometimes it makes uh, it. It's limiting sometimes with me for with comedy that I won't just. Because I've watched a lot of comics go on stage and they'll go, you know, they'll just go from topic to topic. They'll just be like, you know, they'll talk about, you know, fucking road rage. And then the next thing they're like, so fruit salad or whatever. And, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like, I, you know, I've always, I, you know, thought like, I wish I could just be that, I guess, nonlinear or whatever that where you could just, you know. But I, I for me, it's always, I felt like it has to feel conversational and it has to feel like, this isn't just, I'm not using you guys as a fucking prop or a, a you know, basically just, you know, for my own purposes. Like, yeah. it's like, okay, we're talking about something and, you know, there's a, uh, there's a give and take of energy there. But, you know, I guess it's probably getting too fucking uh, uh, hippie-ish about comedy or whatever. <laughs> I, 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 there's a word in there that I'm trying to think of, but it... You know, I, I, mean, I, I be too much of like a stickler for this is how comedy should be kind of thing. Yeah, you know? I guess. I mean, it, 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 you know. But on the flip side, like that's. I mean, for me, I've I've brought notes on stage here before to, to look at them. Sometimes I have my phone open and glance at it, you know, to see what like oh oh yeah that's right this is where the next joke yeah, is going if yeah. I'm working on something. But for me, the culmination is when I'm taking it, you know, to the main stage and doing that stuff where it's like I don't need the notes anymore. I got it. I worked it out and all that stuff. But right. so it's and, it, yeah. See, even when I'm working stuff, I don't think I've, I I know I've never taken anything. I mean, even when I've, I you know, I remember there was a time I remember like because when I was doing, uh, you know, I guess when I was still doing caplets in L.A. when I still lived in L.A. Uh, I remember at one point. Because, you know, I'd come up with my set sort of in the car with Jamie and, uh, I, you know, i get down there. i do my set sometimes and, you know, because I would record it on Saturday nights in uh, Hermosa Beach or whatever. And I, I, you know, there'd be times I'd get off stage and I'd be like, 
fuck, I forgot to do that bit. That's what I wanted to do. And like, because I get up there and there would be times I would just, you know, crowds in front of me, they're waiting for a laugh. I'm fucking, you know, and I'm trying to, you know, it, it's basically really you, can, you can hear that old, like that old fucking DSL thing or whatever. Yeah. You know, you'll dial up the sound like, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah. And I mean, my shit just got bogged down where I'm like, okay. And then I would just go to like some like old bit or something like that just to, just you to know, fill so the space. I yeah. remember at, if there was a time that I was like I, I, trying to figure out a way, like you know, to write like topic headings on my shoes, shoelaces, or I didn't want to ruin my shoes though. So it was like, all right, can I get on my shoelaces? Can I write it on my shoelaces? So I can look down. Uh, I've had people for years think that I because I look down a lot on stage, they think I actually am looking at like I have notes or something written down there. It's like no, no, I that's don't. that's I, just force yeah. of habit. That's it just is, that's just, just you just look down and gather it, your it's thoughts. It's just it's it's shame. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't want to make direct fucking eye contact. Then you know, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as soon as I see somebody else's eyes, I'm gonna realize what a fucking fraud I am. And uh, no, it's just, it does, it, it's, it's awkward, you know, because mm-hmm. you don't know these people, and, and you are trying to like, I mean, there's a, I guess, yeah, it's, it's a, it's a weird thing to make direct eye contact with one person, especially if that one person's gonna get loud or something too. So. I, there's a lot of reasons, but it's yeah, it's never bad. I've never had fucking notes up there. Uh, well, and see, it's for me. I almost feel like it's a point of like pride and professionalism. It's like oh, you're going up there because you're prepared, right? You know, like right. so that's why, like that's why I do so much, and that's why I will rehearse it five, six times in the car to make sure it's ready. But man, when like, but then like, I wish I could do, and I'm trying. I'm getting better at writing on stage and doing that kind of stuff. But man. Yeah. I have literally watched you go up there and like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do and watch you manufacture, <laughs> manufacture a set. And I, Pretty like much. I said, and I watched, I can see the gears turning as you go where it's like all of a yeah. sudden you'll be like, what do I want to talk about this time? Oh, 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 and then you get the topic and all of a sudden you are just off and that's on what, I mean, and that's what makes, I mean, honestly, they, like that's, that's what makes it fun a lot of times. That's why I like, you know, I, I, it's so weird because you'll have some people ask you like, did you do that on purpose or do you, and it's like, no, it just, it, because, you know, there are parts of it where it's, it's just really fun to go, okay, I really had no idea what I was going to do. Mm-hmm. And I really felt like, you know, I, I, because I'm, I've always been one, I've, I've always had that recurring nightmare about the, you know, it, I'm still in college and it's finals week or something, and I had fucking not gone to class all semester. Yep. And I'm, I'm like, oh fuck! And I'm so, and it's and it's all about just this whole you know being unprepared thing, and and not you know, uh, uh, and and that's what I feel like. I mean, I'm driving down here tonight, and I'm like, well, I got to do a, I want to do a caplet set. I don't know what the fuck I want to do mm-hmm. to talk about. It. It's new or or anything like that. But I, you know, I just I just knew okay. Like tonight, I did the thing to talk about aliens because that's like the hot topic in the news. Yep. And so I did. I decided to do a bit about the, <laughs> really not too many. I had no concrete ideas where that was going to go. Uh, but when when you do go into that situation where it is, it's pretty scary. And then it's like it's almost like you know. You remind yourself, like, oh man, I, you know what, I'm, I can, I'm pretty good at this. I guess I can yeah. do this, and it, that's what makes it so more, so much more gratifying. You know, when you go up there and it's like, yeah, I pulled it out of my ass again. All right, good for me, and uh, that's, it, it is fun, and that's it. Said, but there's also part of me that I wish I could be more diligent and prepared and organized, about yeah. going. Okay, let me take what I did in that set and then go home and actually work on it. But when I go home, I'm missing the adrenaline, and it doesn't. It's not the same. So yeah, it just it it it's. <clears throat> but I mean, I told somebody the other day that you've forgotten more jokes than I have, <laughs> like literally, like it's just probably because yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. even I mean, like I don't some know how many jokes you have, but, but even <laughs> but but even there's some where it's like it's like oh but he missed that tag and then like four joke times I see you do it later there's that tag again yeah and it's like it's like man it's like I thought he lost that one forever but there it is back and it's it just, is it, I mean because people well we were talking to a guy last night after the show, you know he was talking you know he. He was mentioning some bit that I did on one of my earlier specials, and uh, I mean, I I really do like sometimes when people will remind me of those bits. I, it'll be like, oh yeah, that was pretty good <laughs> because I you know once I put it on a special, it like I try to basically, you know, I I, I try to you know eventually work it out of my act mm-hmm. because it's already it's you, been you put, lay it to rest. Yeah, it's yeah. been put where it's got to go, and then it's like all right, I need to move on from that one. So it's like, and and when I stop doing them. I forget them because yeah. I. It's like, 
you know, I've had people just say, I mean, it, it, we've talked about it before, I think. You yeah. know, where it's like, yeah, I used to close my set for how many years with that skydiving bit. I couldn't do that if you asked me now. And, yeah. And it was, a, I mean, it was a real story that I spiced up a bit, but it was still based <laughs> on a lot of reality. And I, um, yeah, I did that one so many times, it made me fucking sick. And if, if you asked me to do that today, pfft. Got nothing. Yeah. And it's, that, it's, I mean, even that, because that, that was that lady last night, she's like, oh, I remember this bit. So every summer, I remember the this orange, bit yeah, that you the said. Popsicles bit, and, yeah. and, I, and 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 you and I and you were like, yeah, I remember that bit. <laughs> like it was still like I was like I was like oh yeah, my man. But like this lady, that hits her every single summer since she saw that joke. She's yeah, like, she oh, said. that's John that's, Caparulo. That's really, I always remember yeah. what he says every time I see the popsicles and blah blah. blah. And I'm just like, I'm like, that's incredible. That you could like it's, affect that person's life like that. It is. I mean, you do really. Because <laughs> you don't fucking remember that bit at all. <laughs> I, well, I remember. But the you still get. But you still but get I, what I'm saying. But like, I still. Yeah. I, I probably. I don't remember exactly how to do like all the beats of it uh-huh. to go right because I mean, you know, it was one that I used to do at the same time as I did the Coke and Pepsi thing or whatever. I think that was. I know it fit with that, and that's why I was where I was put it. But I mean, but yeah, it's sometimes we forget as comics that like, you know, like the overall effect of what we do and the material that we come up and you know it's the same thing as like you know like the way a lot of people look at the bible i look at the simpsons or i look at you know uh uh you know a lot of those like basically cartoons south park fucking you know american dad family guy but like you know when people you know talk to me about like oh man i you know your comedy got me through, you know, this way you know, when so-and-so, somebody, you know, in their life died or, or, or was sick, or maybe they were trying to recover from some sort of injury or, you know, there was one guy who came up to me. I still remember this. I still have the thing. And he wrote his like doctorate thesis on, I, I, he said he was asleep on the couch one night, woke up and my special was on comedy central. And, uh, and and it inspired him, I guess, to to that's what he was going to focus his doctorate thesis on was um, basically comedians and and their effect on uh, you know on people and psychology. I, I, I I'm butchering it. So I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, but but I do have the thesis that he he sent me at at, uh, at home. And you know, and it's crazy to think about because it's it's just. You know, when you're a comedian, <laughs> you just live with your material yeah. day after day, and you just think it's so, it's just bullshit to you. Because after a while, you're just like, man, this is just something I live with to, to, to you know, go on stage with and build on just my whole thing. It's just, it's a, you know, you just think it's all only your thing and nobody else really cares. But then you remember when people remind you like that, it's like, wow, it actually means something to the people who are actually you know, who are supporting your comedy and who, who actually use your comedy like I use the comedy of The Simpsons or whatever to get, you know, to just to, to make sense of life and to get through. And it and it's always really cool to get reminded of that, man. It's awesome. Well, because so really much do. of the time we get, uh, oh, you were so funny, which we all go in our heads as a comic. It doesn't matter if you killed that night. You're like, no. Yeah, Anytime they say yeah, you're like, yeah, it's like, always like yeah. it's always like it's like the verbal tip, like great service, right, you know, like right, it's like that's yeah. it. so yeah. it's like oh, you were so funny, yeah. Thanks yeah. for not laughing. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> <that>. <laughs> thanks for having your arms crossed in the front <laughs> row the whole time. Right, I'm glad you enjoyed the show. But then when they come up to you like that, we're like, man, like you know, like my, my sister died or something, and your comedy yeah. and that shit got me through. It's like it does, yeah. Like oh. Okay, so maybe uh, maybe there there is some impact this, on these fucking stuff is, out there. It's beyond me and my career or whatever. Yeah. Like the things they, uh, you know, because I, I, you know, I've had people, it's always amazing to me that, you know, uh, you guys will come back from like, you know, from from war. Like in the Middle East, it, I, well, it's only been in the Middle East since I've been a comic, so <laughs> no, nobody was listening to me in, in Vietnam. In, in Nam, are you saying. sure? Not Korea? <laughs> not, not the Korean War? Um, <laughs> But, but the, uh, but they, you know, they say that, you know, like, yeah, I mean, the guys in my, you know, my platoon or whatever, like they would say that, you know, we would watch your disc or whatever, like every night when we were there. And I'm like, you could actually laugh at the fucking the stuff that I say when you're in that situation, when you're really, you're worried about whether you're going to live. Yeah. That's, I, I'm still amazed by that. I still um, I still disagree with it. I'm like, I, I can't believe you actually could get something out of what I do in that situation. But 
man, every time somebody tells me something like that, I um, I appreciate the hell out of it. I don't know how to process it a lot of times when they tell me because it's like there's nothing I can say back. It's yeah. really gonna, you know, because I, I got, oh, nothing, I got thanks. nothing. Yes, I have nothing yeah, other than thank you. But, but it really is, man. It's, it's, uh, it's just. Yeah, I, I, I want those people to know that it really is. Uh, um, it's beyond words how awesome it is when somebody tells me something like that. It, it really does. It's great. Well, it's good because well, especially for us as comics, it's like we put this out in the ether. I mean, even when you recorded Netflix special or whatever, you know, it's like you still are just putting it up on the platform and. Right, you just see hope what it happens. all goes together yeah. goes well enough Hoping to go. Hoping people like yeah, it. Yeah, I hope it, you know. You know yeah, I hope and, I, I, and, I, I, Is anybody even watching this? Yeah. You know, that sort of thing. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you said. It's the same when we put out these podcasts. We're just throwing them <laughs> over the world. Like, is anybody, anybody interested in this? Have you guys uh, seen this? Have you heard about this? I think this? we know the answer to that. <laughs> but, <laughs> we're building. We're building. Yeah, man. That's all that matters. Yeah, but but it's still, what, it's what we're always doing. But, yeah. that, but, that's how, but that's how comics is. It's just we, we get so in our head about our sets and our stuff, and we... we we're so focused on our craft that we kind of sometimes forget the other end. That, yeah, 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 it's too we, close to you to really think yeah. of it anything more than that. Yeah, because yeah, we because we just see all right the people they laughed whatever it's like we don't see what they took home with them or if they're like remember we said that last night or they say it like remember last month or yeah. like whatever yeah. or you know it's like oh let's go follow him online yeah. and, and see yeah. more so or, or you know it's also you know I, I, I mean we've, we <laughs> we're going way down this, this is rabbit hole but I mean. You know, it's also cool. You know, I've I've had you know, um, I forget which comic was that we had on here. Uh, you know, he he, you know, he he saw me way way back in the day, like at the comedy store. Oh, Chris Thorne? Yeah. Yes. When and, he, when, uh, he, when he came out yeah. drunkenly to ask you how to do comedy in the right. start of the next and, week, and, you yeah. Know, and it was it it I I, you know, it was nothing to me to be like. I mean, if somebody because I remember he just I think he. He had asked me about, you know, because he thought about it, he wanted to get into comedy or whatever, or maybe he was just starting, and, you know, and I I talked to him about it and gave him some, you know, some words to, you know, maybe just to... to, to, to you you to literally get you literally gave him information. You and said, that affects this people. Is the, this is the thing, this is how you get on, this is how you get your number, like, you basically laid it out for him. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and like, and a, for a you, lot of times I... I feel like i oversimplify to people like you know just be well, funny because you as the door as the door guy you answered that question 10 million times yeah to well, every yeah. comic that came up so it was like you know so you were just kind but of I doing mean, the same thing you'd kind of done and the thing is i've had i have also had those moments you know for me like i still i'm sure chris rock doesn't remember the time you know he just i randomly run it ran into him when we were at the same comedy festival in vegas in 2007 and you know he he told me how funny I thought he thought I was, and I, I didn't even know he knew who I was. You know, same thing with Eddie Griffin when he put me on his show back in 2003. Like, these guys, I, like, I saw Eddie Griffin, I was getting on a plane, because we end up, like, on a lot of the same flights coming mm-hmm. back from road stuff, and uh, I'm like, man, Eddie doesn't know who I am, and I'm just like, I'm not, I don't bother him. Like, there's been a few times, like, I've seen him, we get off the plane at the same time, and I'm like... Hey, I'm, geez, I'm just, I don't want to fucking make him feel awkward and go, hey, remember me, Cap, from the comedy store? I'm fatter now. <laughs> <laughs> really? And it's like, but, I, you know, there was a time reason that we were on the same flight. I was getting on uh, right after, because he's in, how'd you get fucking concierge key? God damn it. Because <laughs> I, I was just happy I got my upgrade. And uh, But I was getting on a plane and just, you know, I was like, hey, Eddie, it's me, Cap Rulo from, you know, and he was cool as fuck as usual, but I mean, you know, like he, I don't think he knows, like what a big help he was to me at that stage in my career because you know I could have been waiting around for another few years to to like because I I remember that him put me on that show at the store with him, got me my first really helped me get my first TV spot which led to my Montreal invitation you know it was a chain reaction and if Eddie didn't do that, you know I would who knows when it would have actually happened for yeah. who, who knows how much more fucking grass I would have had to mow so mm-hmm. you know so I always try to keep that in mind you know when uh, you know when if a comic you know comes up to me or somebody who's aspiring whatever and plus just as a person I you know I've seen people who are just dicks yeah, to people uh, yes. and it's like I can't imagine being that way the old don't meet your heroes man because right. uh, they're just uh, fucking it's, dicks it's so yeah. I mean I you know but I I, I but it is amazing though when you know somebody will tell you like that you really had an effect on, you know their life or their path and and you know because I've had the same thing happen to me with other guys like I said with Eddie Chris, Arsenio fucking stopping traffic on more parts. I mean, those are big moments for me and I don't think they even 
you know, it's just another thing for them. But yeah, it's 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 uh, it it has an effect, man. Comedy is really there's a lot. It 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 digs a lot deeper than we really think sometimes. Yeah. No. One hundred percent. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, uh, getting to more serious matters. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yes, yeah, so Uno. Let's go to the stories this week. All right. So this is our, <laughs> this is from our friends at the UPI, our chief odd news place. So. Uh, so Mattel is looking for a chief Uno player sought to make four thousand four hundred and forty-four dollars a week playing Uno games. So it's a four-week job. <laughs> so you get basically I a don't lot know. of fours because yeah. a draw four. Yeah, I mean, see, see, this guy it's, it's, gets you know, it. This guy yeah, gets it. Of course, I get it. Yeah, no, but like, I, 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 but yeah, they're 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 trying to choose a candidate that basically all they're going to do is dedicate four hours a day, four days a week. <laughs> To play Uno Quattro, which is their new game. Oh, so it's a new game. So it's not it's, the no, it's classic not, yes, Uno. So it's, okay. it's their new Uno Quattro, hence all the fours. Okay. okay. But, oh, but Cap, like, yeah. put in your application, bro. I know you're the Uno See, king. I, I don't know about Quattro, because yeah, I've tried to play, because they have a few different, they have Dos. Mm-hmm. I don't even understand it. <laughs> I honestly don't. Um, there, there's, I think, that Phase 10 or whatever that's uh-huh. also... But Uno is the fucking shit. Like, I remember it was right after, like, the COVID shutdown. And uh, that was when uh, Jamie and I taught our daughter Madden how to play Uno. And uh, and then, you know, it, we obviously we taught her with the, you know, we had the cards. And then we ended up, Madden and I downloaded the app. And then it just ended up being like, oh, this is a cool game that I can play with my daughter. And then... <laughs> she went to bed and I started still playing a lot, man. It became, it really became my fix. Like, instead of, you know, playing poker or something like that, like, Uno's fucking, I mean, it's addictive. It really yeah. is. And I mean, I, I play a lot of online Uno, I mean, still to this day. I'm, I'm like, and, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't mind, I don't mind saying I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a gangster. <laughs> no man, I mean I I get yeah, my yeah. Look me up on the Uno app. My my uh, my screen name is Draw Poo. So uh, <laughs> I was so happy that nobody else picked that. Yeah, you know, like, oh fuck yeah, Draw Poo, bitch. But uh, I love me some Uno. I, dude, I, but I mean, do we? Especially us, the same. Me and my friends during the pandemic, like 2020, we played Uno online. I, you couldn't was find like, a deck for a while. Like if you yeah. went to Walmart, try to get a new because we I had a I was trying to find a new deck because my fucking kid kept biting cards when she was pissed off. Like she <laughs> looted or she draw crap in cards. She just bite it. Like okay, see, I know this one's a fucking. Yeah. I know this is a a green three because you're mad about that card or whatever. But I mean, it's uh, it, it's a, it's I love that game, man. But no, anyway, dude, yeah, you were no, playing I love, a lot. No, I loved it, dude. Because I guess because because especially because it was online, so it didn't matter where we were. But that that shit got. Because I noticed, that, I remember I went, when we were recording this, I think over. I was like, "Is that the Uno app on uh-huh. <laughs> your desktop?" Because I'm like, "I yeah, I'm Bro, fucking, we, I'm we, all over." Some we Uno, started man. putting money on it. Right? Or did you? It almost ended some friendships. I'll just say that. Really? Yeah, we got fucking heated at Uno, bro. He did. How did you get that heated though? Over like, with, with, I mean, nobody's cheating, right? No, it doesn't matter. Still, you know, you drop them draw fours, those reverses. Yeah, that like, gets you know, like oh, they, you, when you play on an app, like they got those things, like where you can throw those bombs at people and get mm-hmm. mad. Because I'm always like, I mean, when somebody throws shit at me, I'm like, what do you? What? Where else am I gonna go? It's it's your fault for putting up a reverse. All right, so it's <laughs> like it's coming back at you, motherfucker. I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you want me to do here? But I mean. I, yeah, I no, just uh, we had a dude that was hanging out with us that left our group. Really, we hanging out like you ain't friends no more because of it. Because of Uno, damn. Yeah, like it affected his life. <laughs> he was like, I can't, I can't be around you guys anymore because of Uno, dude. It was, I, I, I mean, it's not like we were betting hundreds of dollars. We're betting like five bucks, ten bucks. Like it's really, just, you know, it's but, that competitive though. I get it. Yeah, I mean, I get yeah. it being that competitive. I've had it happen over. Mm-hmm. Over and, poker, like and, I've had, I've had. You better pay right away. You better pay right away. I mean, of course, yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I got because I, uh, um, I still just I, I feel bad that, that, that uh, me and him, you know, kind of almost got into it. I mean, which I probably would have lost, but I mean, we in, uh, I was playing. It was it was at a bar uh, in L.A. We like went upstairs with like whoever one of the other comics knew the guy who owned the place and. Uh, and I was playing, um, I was playing poker one. I, I don't, I can't remember if John Favreau was in the game or not. 
but it was, you know, it was right after I did the Vince Vaughn, you know, tour. Yeah. So I was, I hang around some of those guys sometimes. Like I was, it was Peter Billingsley from Christmas Story, um, uh, 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 Cole Hauser from uh, Swingers. Yeah. And uh, um, and I can't remember if Favreau was in the game or not. I remember seeing him around. I remember Vince was Vince Vaughn was there that night, but I don't think he was playing. Um, but anyway, like we, I remember we got into we were playing uh, Hold'em. When I, and I remember just like Cole Hauser was fucking drunk as fuck, and like he kept like like he he seemed like he was like I I forget he would he would go to call he would go to call but because he was so drunk he would be like all right he put down like the call and then he go and then he'd almost like it was, it was like he was watching everybody's reaction and then he'd just go ahead and fucking and I raise and I'm like and I just finally snapped because I'm competitive yeah, as fuck no and there's money on the line yeah. and I'm like. All right, man. You can't do that every fucking time. You can't just call and then raise after you see everybody get whether they get pissed off or they get anxious, whatever. And I, he got mad, so he was ready to fucking tear my head off because he was an angry drunk. So apparently, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, oh, you little motherfucker. He's like, and I've never seen him or spoken to him since. I'm sorry, Cole Hauser, man. Mate. I ain't got no hard feelings, man, and you probably don't was, fucking was remember. Was it a cash but, game I mean, still, or you guys playing like a, a tournament? Cash, we were playing yeah. a cash game. See, when, sure, yeah. when I'm playing with friends, you got to play a tournament. So that everybody has a chance. The tournament I don't comes to an end. I think it was tournament style. Yeah, I don't think you, it was like but, a but one. I'm saying you nah, have I think to, it was straight because up money. Because cash games and friendships. Yeah, they every were, single absolutely. time. Absolutely. I, I every mean, single especially time. when you're because I'm pretty sure we were playing no limit yeah. too. No. So it was like so yeah, it, 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 was, it was. When, if my plant friends want to play poker, we play tournaments. Everybody puts up the ten bucks. The tournament has a beginning, middle, and end, and then we start over. So not everybody's fucking pissed off yeah, or out me, for the night or buying out. It was like yeah, I think it was 2005, six somewhere around there would have been and. I mean, I didn't. I I wasn't in swingers. <laughs> I, wasn't in, I wasn't in anything. I didn't have those swingers. Wait, he wasn't in swingers. Wait, wait, he might have been in swingers, but he was in uh, 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 Goodwill Hunting. That's the one he was in. Yeah. So I wasn't in that either. So I mean, <laughs> so I'm saying I was in college then. But um, I, you know, I, you know, I had, I, I, I didn't have that kind of cash to lose the fucking uh, A-list actors or whatever. Mm-hmm. I just, man, I could. And so I was a little bit, yeah. I, like everybody else was a lot more social than I was about it at the time. I'm and you're so like, like I'm, bet, I'm, bitch. I'm, try, I'm trying to ball, motherfuckers. We're so playing some of Check raise, bitch. I, you know, I remember me and I, me and Vince used to get heated over uh, playing Madden because at the time, you know, I was playing on PlayStation. I wasn't, I wasn't as good as I am now. And I, but I, for some reason, I thought me playing the computer on fucking rookie was. Like I my my scheme was good and I I was terrible back then I would talk all kinds of shit going in and just get fucking hammered and I remember yeah I remember one this is like the first time I ever hung out with Vince and we were like over I think we, me and another comic went over to his house and he beat the fucking piss out of me and I was so mad I like I didn't, I couldn't even talk to him for a while and. I, now I just don't talk to him because we, we ain't cool. But I mean, uh, <laughs> other reasons. But, now for other reasons. But, but at that I time, still, I still to this day I'm like, oh man, I, yeah, I hope nobody tried to fuck with me now because <laughs> you'll get your ass whipped uh-huh. now. Uh-huh. And, and and Uno, don't fuck with me in Uno or Madden or uh, Wordle. <laughs> I'll fuck you up with some wordle. Don't, just, don't give me two guesses. Yeah. I, I got it. I'm, don't I'm give me, good. Give me no five letter words, bitch. I'm I got good. you. You play wordle? Oh yeah. 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 Which What's your word you start with on the five? Uh, pilot. Pilot, really? Yeah. Uh, it's pilot and um, fuck. What's my other word we use? But it's one. It's the two where you basically get all the vowels. The uh, the one I saw when I was because I I didn't really, they did a feature on it because I'd been playing it for months. I remember Jamie's friend. Uh, and her husband uh, were into it. Like, it was the guy, the NHL player. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and and like it got passed to me. Like she's like, have you played this game Wordle? And she knows I'm always playing fucking games on my iPad instead of spending time with my family. <laughs> but then my daughter started playing. And we now she just doesn't. She can't hang out with us until she gets into some games. But uh, <laughs> um, but no, that, like I remember watching. Uh, they did a feature on the on Wordle on Real Sports with Brian Gumble, and uh, Brian Gumble said his first word that he started with was audio is that the one you're thinking of was audio? yes it is yes. Okay. Pi- pilot and audio pilot really Pi- yeah. it, it, really? it has the i and the o Pi- and L Pi- pilot's unusual to me i yeah. i i uh i mean i get it because the okay you got the P, i o and the t, t and the l's yeah. obviously yeah a common letter okay okay i i start with rates i don't know if anybody has ever i don't know if that's a common one or not i 
I never looked it up or anything. I just came up with it my own. I was like, okay, you got A E S T R. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those seem to be the ones that everybody would pick on Wheel of Fortune on the last one. So it's like, uh, yeah, rates. I would start with rates. And then what do you do on the six letter? Because oh. that's the, you know, the, yeah, the, 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 next the plus one thing on the every day. I, honestly, I think we did pilots. Pilots? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense, yeah. I actually, you got the S. See, I, do, I basically do the same letter, except I add one on the other end. I do orates. Mm. What? What? I, look, you just, you can't fuck with me on these games, man. Oh, how deep did you go? Hmm? Do you do the dortle, the quartal, like all the other ones? You know what? No, I haven't. I, I don't oh. play. I, I play the daily puzzle every day, and then sometimes I'll play in tournaments, you know, to like. Dude, we, we went deep. Like, some of those ones where it's like 40 or 50 of them where you have to get, you know, and you only have like 70 guesses to get See, all I've of never them. Got, and... I've, I've never gotten, I guess because I've spent so much time on Madden every day, I guess I don't go that deep on it but i've seen that there's other no, it, versions a, on there i've seen there's while, a longer we letter had, we ones, had but... the we basically we all start with the regular wordle and everybody because we do it on the discord with everybody else so it's like everybody does the wordle themselves mm-hmm. like everybody does it themselves you know if you're a bitch or whatever because then we're like who got it one two whatever then we're competing but then we get to the ones where it's 10 20 40 there's one there's 100 and we kind of do that as a team. Wait, there's a hundred as in what? Like a hundred different fucking wordles to do. Okay. And when you do Oh, you mean like when you do that path or whatever you're talking about? It fills the whole hundred up. So you have to get a hundred wordles in one fucking pass. Okay, okay. Oh, so, you mean a hundred straight? Yeah. Hun- Without well, missing it after, but in six or whatever. Well, well yeah, but you, you still have six guesses to get. You have get. six guesses, but I'm saying you have to go. Str- See, I can do that in my sleep. Yeah. I, I mean, sometimes I, I'll get to a point where, okay, I'm not in the middle of a tournament or anything because when you're on the game it'll uh if you if you finally if you get stumped basically and you don't want to pay to get a seventh uh-huh. guess it'll uh you it's basically like cashing out because like if you finally do go all right yeah i'm stumped i don't want to do it again it'll it, you get a bunch of coins from mm-hmm. that because it's like you reset okay i gotta start back at zero but fuck it and i just uh, but i yeah man if i did if i wanted to i could yeah i don't know if there's ever been Dude, there's tournaments for that. I mean, like cash tournaments. See, I saw the 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 real sports feature that they did on it was actually they were they they centered around this. Um, yeah, I think it was in New England somewhere, but it was uh they did a, a wordle tournament where it was live, like a, basically like a bingo parlor mm-hmm. where <clears throat> they weren't doing it on a screen; they were actually doing it on paper. And I that shit would be fucking hard to you know because it's it's. Uh, I mean, how does I that even, even know how you? Yeah, how right, does that even work? I don't even know. Like I. I don't know. I just remember that's how they were they were doing live. Do you literally have somebody sitting there going, those two are right. Right. That's, that's, that's right, but it's in the, wrong, not the wrong spot. spot. Right, yeah. I don't know. But uh, they, they actually did it like that, and I was just like, man, that's 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 some old school shit. I don't know how, I don't know if that would work for me, but I, you know, because I, yeah, I like being able to, uh, I can only do it, yeah, with the, um, with, with the computer assistance, well, I guess. And, I I, and I'm surprised there's otherwise. not a Wordle app that's like the... Maybe there is, and I just haven't looked for it. You know, because you've seen those ones like play Solitaire for money. I played Solitaire for money. I won a couple hundred dollars playing Solitaire Did for you? money. Until it seems like the bots took over, and I haven't been able to like get a cash out since my first couple. Yeah. But, I mean, Robin plays Bingo for money. There's really? all these ones. Like, those are the kind of games where it's like, you know, you're if you're fast enough, you do that. You can, you know, you get the high score, you win the tournament. I feel like Wordle could be exactly the same thing. If you get your word and it's it goes by not just that you get it but speed and how many guesses and stuff. Yeah. Have you ever got one on the first try? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. That's, I, that's I, I, like not that's it may, not intentionally. Maybe once. Yeah. Or, I mean, I I guess the you know Ev- I, I just basically would have run into rates. Yeah. Eventually, I mean, your word comes up. Because <laughs> for a while, I did. Um, I did. You know, because there's a lot of there's a different there's different combinations of rates too. You could do tears. You could do tears. You could do uh, mm-hmm. stare. You know, like so it's like. Depending on yeah, you put it down. So I, I think, I, I think I've got it in one guess like maybe twice, but that's. It's just it's just literally like oh it's it just, total it just luck. was my starter word. Of course, it has yeah, to be total yeah. luck. Yeah, I mean. You're, but you're you always see everybody's like number world in one. And it's like the, the worst ones are though like when the one like okay I'll put down rates and then the A the E and the S come up and it's like ah fuck like they're in the exact right spots to so now it's like could be cakes bakes sakes yeah like it could be a whole cases could mm-hmm. be. so it's like i'll sit there and fucking burn a bunch of guesses you know those are the ones where i'm like all right do i have any little magnifying glasses i'll fucking go all right give me a hint because like i i'm close enough now it's just a guessing game and it's like yeah. what the fuck so 
Um, but I, yeah, I mean, I, 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 those are my, yeah. Those are the hardest because then um, I, I almost try to do, all right, let me do all the words that are, have every other letter but those three so I can try to find the next, if I could just find one, I got the word. Yeah. You know? That's yeah, that's what it. I mean. If I just need one of those other two yeah. and it's, I mean, I, I, uh, I mean, I, 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 those are my, like every day when I, when I get up, that's my first two hours now probably three hours every day <laughs> like my games like i play madden uh um and then which that's gonna that's gonna be tough for me next week from the uh, starting on the seventh through the tenth is the is the worst time of year for madden players because that's when they're doing the changeover to, to the from, new stuff basically from 23 to 24 yeah. and uh i gotta yeah i gotta take some days off and i so but my my usual gaming routine is i play uh i play madden i play uh wordle and I, I play uh, it, Lemmings, but me and Madden have now, somehow the title of the game has become Chemingos. <laughs> Madden called it Chemmings one day, and then I said, and then I made it Chemingos. And so I play, yeah, the, 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 that Chemingos, and then I play, uh, um, and then I'll get into some Uno usually at some point during the day. I'll get on there and at least get my... Uh, little gumball machines and yep, stuff like your that. Your dailies. So, yeah. Yep. And, uh, and, but, yeah I play, there's a couple other ones I got, but like the one, like when I'm at, we're at the Kimmel Club, I play this one that, uh, I don't even know what the fuck it's called. <laughs> it's uh, that number one where like, you know, you're basically, uh, oh, fuck, I'll look it up. Talk amongst yourselves. But I, uh, <laughs> um, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's called Plus One, but it has like a few, ga- like where you're just basically, it's not that interesting anyway. I, uh, it's still, it's still it's in the, this it's one. Still it's crazy plus. Pantheon. Crazy plus. It's my puzzle game. I played threes too. I don't know if you played threes before. Yeah, yeah. Like the one where, yeah. Mm-hmm. The, like games like that. It's like almost like a Sudoku type of yeah. thing. But it's, I like puzzle games like that. Shit. Well, so they're, I'm, they're, I'm perf- they're the perfect toilet games. Literally. Yeah. Like I always wonder. Like I'm, I'm like, how did, how did, like, just before we had these things that are just like, how did we fucking kill time? Like, you just sit there and stare. What I, are you fucking I doing? Left my, I didn't read. I, I left that. my phone like in the other room because I was like, I got it. was one of those where I got to rush to the bathroom. Yeah. And I'm sitting there going like, I'm just fucking staring at this goddamn door right this now. Fucking and it's sucks, like, man. Dude, yeah. and it wasn't like when I was a kid, I didn't have phones or that stuff. And I was like, God, what the fuck did I do? And I thought, well, yeah, we had the magazines in there. See, you I know, never the old read school? on the can either. I I used to spend a lot less time on the can. I think uh-huh. what it was. Oh, well, dude, like I didn't stay as a, like I as do a now. species. We did. You yeah, know? Man, <laughs> like, I, I mean, I stay. Sometimes I'm just because it's like you know, it's where I sat down. <laughs> it's just like I don't. Oh. I don't get up. It's like, ah, uh, yeah. It's Dude, especially just, when that in that first one in the morning when I'm rolling through my whole phone stuff and I look up and I'm like, I've been sitting on the toilet for a half an hour. Shit. Half an <laughs> hour. Damn. I'm like, man, I've been here for four hours. Fuck, cause, like, especially when I'm on the road. I'm just oh, like, yeah. like, nobody's there to judge me. No. Nobody's there to I'm fucking just, knock on the door and be like, hey, come do this or yeah, whatever. Right. Yeah. Like, are you still on the can? Yeah, it ain't none of that. So, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I waste some time, man. I waste some time. Uh, so anyway, but I mean, yeah. so seventeen thousand seven hundred seventy-six dollars total is what they're paying yeah. for this job, yeah, man, and I, all I, ages, all ages. So is it online? Is that where you're playing? No, uh, well, you you play like because it's a physical game, like it's okay. a it's a physical Uno. So game. it's actually like with cards. Yeah, uh, okay. like it, well, it's I think it's like a board or something. But they're only hiring one person to do that. So who yeah. are they playing? Uh, I that's actually or is it a just question. they have a cycle of opponents coming through or something? I don't you know. Oh, engaging. So you're uh, someone just passionate about throwing down draw fours. They are engaging strangers in a game. So yeah. So I guess it is. You're gonna play it online. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to challenging players to game, teaching new players rules, and creating Uno related content on the game's social media channel channels. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you are playing in person. That you're just out here at a game store or something, being like the ambassador or whatever. Yeah. And then they just probably stream it all online for the clicks. But I, I mean, wonder how many how many hours a day does it say you have to four. Four hours, four hours a day, oh, four days right. a week. Okay, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, four, four. It's all. Should have known. <laughs> it's the fours, but all that ages. Ain't bad. That ain't all bad. ages. That's easy, man. Like yeah. have Madden fly for this. She loves the Uno too. You know. Yeah, I'll like, put my eight-year-old to work. <laughs> hey, bro, it's a numbers game. Have Jamie apply too, as long yeah. as one of the three you gets better, it. <laughs> you guys better put some horses on that game because she ain't gonna fucking play if there ain't no horses. If or, it ain't, or, if it ain't or, horse themed. There's no, there's no cats or dogs. And fucking <laughs> virtual pets for her to take care of because like, that's what she's into. Oh, that is that is for sure what mm-hmm. she's into. Yeah, I just realized I fucking screwed myself out of forty bucks today by telling her I got an email because she but she doesn't even play Sims. We got Sims on play, the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. 
at, like a year or so ago. And I, she has never actually played the game. She just likes to get on there, build the family. Like, you know, build, like, because for a while, was, you know, she would build me, she'd build Jamie, she'd build her, she'd build, you know, a couple of our pets. Now it's just her and a bunch of cats. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, but today I, I got I got in my email and it said, Sims 4 now has added horses. I'm like, I better show her. <laughs> and uh, she, I showed her and she's like, <gasps> You did it to, you <laughs> I mean, did it to she, yourself. She plays Star Stable, like you've seen her play, like, yeah. in the green room. I mean, she now has 180 horses. I mean, uh -huh. like, she'll talk to people, like, on the game, and they'll be like, yeah, I have a lot of horses. I got five. And she's like, <laughs> five? Don't waste my time. And she's <laughs> like, I got 180. I'm like, yeah, and you got one player with one butt, and you got <laughs> you got 180 <laughs> fucking horses. But she just can't help herself. She's that's it's it, The cool thing is, is it's become the easiest way for whether it's us, relatives, whoever, to get her presents for birthday, Christmas, or anything, you get her star coins on the game, and then she'll buy horses, and they take up no space in the house. Fan fucking mm -hmm. test. It's not like yeah. fucking stuffed animals and Barbie shit and all that stuff that just fucking clutters up the house. It's like, uh, yeah, it's just more yeah. digital horses. Fuck yeah. Done. Yeah. Go ahead, kid. How much more digital stuff you want? Take yeah, it all. Man. Have at it. Have at it. Have fun. Plus, I can't say she can say as much as... Much as I spend on my fucking team on Madden, I ain't gonna fucking. I can't talk. So, uh, how many horses do you have on Madden? Yeah. I have a lot of horses on Madden. I got I got eight years worth of horses uh -huh. on Madden Mobile, yes. and uh, yeah, maxed yeah. out horses, baby. I mean, because this past season, Madden Mobile twenty three was the first year that they allowed us to uh, uh, carry our team over. Like the team that we oh. ended last year with, we actually got to start this past year with. But I mean. You know, still the team was obsolete within yeah, a month. You're still going to replace so them with everybody else You still else had to anyway. basically replace yeah. everybody, but it was still it still was cool to at least not start from the, the fucking the, the, the bottom, yeah. uh, basically, with your team. And same thing this year where, you know, can carry over our team. So, I mean, I still, yeah, I still got Randall Cunningham, a quarterback, and Bo Jackson in the <laughs> backfield. Bo Jackson gets way too much Fort credit. For life? They, I mean, every year on Madden, Bo Jackson is the best running back. And I get it because of his Tech Mobile legacy, but it's like, dude, if you're fucking, if you're, you know, I I, I, I mean, uh, I mean, Walter Payton's gone, or if you're, you're, I don't know, Eric Dickerson, even Frank Gore. Frank Gore is like second now, I think, on the list. Like, any of these guys who actually did put in some yards in the NFL, it's like, Bo Jackson played, I think he had any, I've had 2,000 career yards. But he's like, I mean, he's the he is the alpha fucking running back every year yeah. on Madden. Bo knows, Bo knows, Bo knows uh -huh. how to fucking <laughs> play a short time and leave a long <laughs> legacy, man. That guy is incredible. Anyway, well, Cap, that's uh, another good week of the blather. Oh, you think so? I thought it sucked. No, <laughs> oh no, thanks for uh, we had thanks good comedy for, talk. Good I like talk. yeah. I mean, anytime we talk some. Some comedy and video games, I'm all about it, uh -huh. so yeah, man. And competitive Uno. Fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just nothing bad. I mean, yeah, this is what Blatheria is about. When I uh -huh. when we when we thought about the, the name for the, the, the show, like, yeah, this is, mm -hmm. this is Blatheria. This is us just some, fucking just spewing some, some shit. Some pointless shit that uh -huh. becomes really important, and uh, <laughs> I like it, so yeah, yeah, man. Good time. So yeah, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, so so follow us, like, subscribe, yeah, internet yeah. stuff. If you're in Vegas, come to the Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel Club on Tuesday. We'll Tuesday. be there, and uh, all yeah, the way I'm through I'm January. Coming, now. I'm going to Arlington, Virginia this week. I'm going uh, to. I'll be in Cuyahoga Falls at Funny Stop later this month. Uh, so yeah, come you see have, me. And you have that film festival too. Is that, I do have a film festival too, yeah. in Bay City, Michigan. Right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. Uh, uh, that's I'm, coming. I'm a, I got a few things. I'm well. interested to hear you come back from that to see how that was, just because it's kind of a unique thing to do a film festival rather yeah, than a yeah. traditional it, comedy it's, festival. It's basically, I think it's what it is is like a, it's like a launch. Basically, they're announcing all of the uh, entries. Yeah. So it's not. I don't think it's actually the festival itself. It's more or less like a. Uh, uh, a gathering of people to announce them. I, I think from what they described. But it's so still, it's still, a, you know, it's still you know. a unique event. Yeah, and absolutely. Like I said, and and absolutely. you know, yeah. sometimes it's like sometimes when we do unique events in comedy, it's, sometimes it can be really uniquely terrible. Yes, one hundred percent. I don't think it'll be uh, like that, but we'll 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 see, right? We'll see. Bay City, Michigan. See in we'll a few. See. We'll find we'll out in a few happens. weeks. So. Yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, just follow us. Uh, do your thing. Tell your friends. Uh, other than that, we're out, right? Draw poo. Peace.